Uh, over the weekend, uh, Israeli uh, officials uh, passed on to the United States evidence, uh, and the, the New York Times has received this evidence, evidence that UN, uh, the UN UNRWA, the, the refugee organization uh, responsible for Palestinian refugees. Note, there is another UN agency responsible for all global refugees all over the world. UNRWA is responsible just for Palestinian refugees. That's the only function of this organization. Now note too, that UNRWA was founded in 1949, right after the War of Independence, of, uh, the Israeli War of Independence, after the Nakba, right? When, when, when Palestinians, Palestinian refugees, um, uh, we the first Palestinian refugees as a consequence of the establishment of the State of Israel. And they've been, they've been refugees since 1948. And the UN has been aiding them and assisting them to stay refugees since 1948. Note that every other refugee group in the world, what the UN's responsibility vis-a-vis -vis those refugees is to resettle them. It's to resettle them. And after a certain period of time, it's clear that that resettlement will probably not happen where you came from. Forget it. That's gone. Keep on living. Not with the Palestinians. The Palestinians have been basically kept as refugees since 1948. The Palestinians have been denied resettlement. They're treated horribly by the countries in which the refugee camps exist. And Arab money, as it flows into various causes, refuses to flow into resettling these people as citizens. They could have been citizens of Jordan. They could have been citizens of Lebanon. They could be citizens in Syria and Egypt and any one of these countries. And if these countries refuse to accept them, and if they do accept them, they segregate them into refugee camps and keep them there without citizenship, without rights, without ID cards, completely dependent on the United Nations. And the United Nations does nothing, nothing to try to get these people to integrate into the countries that are hosting them or even to move them out of these countries into countries that might be willing to host. Them. So the United Nations, I mean, is an immoral criminal organization, has been forever. But UNRWA is particularly evil because of uh, it, the way it has dealt with the Palestinians, the way it has kept them around as refugees, evil in the way they treat Palestinians and what they've done to the Palestinian people. And then on top of that, or, or one of the reasons for keeping them refugees, is so that they are always, always dangled in front of the Israelis as a sin Israel has committed, as something Israel must do something about. If suddenly the, uh, the uh, refugees, the Palestinian refugees get settled and everything is okay with them, I think uh, if they're settled and everything's okay with them, then the whole issue goes away. What UNRWA has kept alive is this idea of a right of return, this idea that they will once, one day settle in Israel, in a sense, by replacing the Israeli Jewish population. So UNRWA is already evil just for that. But then, uh, you know, this uh, report from the Israelis passed on to the Biden administration, leaked by the New York Times, shows that UNRWA employees were actively involved on October 7th in the massacre. They were involved in kidnapping women. They were involved in uh, helping Hamas stage the attack. Uh, they were involved in... Um, uh, you know, uh, working, killing, uh, in killing uh, Israeli citizens and in, in uh, facilitating Hamas, helping Hamas, working with Hamas. But they were actively in Israel. There's actually cell phone evidence of UNRWA employees crossing the border out of Gaza and in 
into, uh, into Israel. So they were active on October 7th. They were part of this evil. And of course, their salaries are funded by you. By you, if you're an American, through your tax money. If you're European, through your tax money. The United States is the largest donor to UNRWA. Uh, the, uh, the, the, I think Germany and uh, the UK and France all give huge quantities of money to UNRWA. So uh, here you are funding the salaries of people who then go in and murder and butcher Israelis. On top of that, this has been known, UNRWA's involvement with Hamas has been known for years. UNRWA is responsible for the schools in the Gaza Strip, in the refugee camps in Lebanon and elsewhere in the West Bank. And we know what they teach. They teach hatred of Israel. They teach veneration to the martyrs, to suicide bombers. They've been teaching this hatred for years and years and years. We know that UNRWA schools uh, were bases for Hamas, were launch pads for missiles into Israel, were places in which Hamas was hiding uh, one school the, t the floor above the school was completely booby-trapped. In another case, we know that one Israeli hostage was kept in a home of an UNRWA employee. Add to that, that uh, evidence of, uh, of discussion, this is going to be presented, I think, uh, in front of Congress tomorrow, uh, a chat group of 3,000 UNRWA teachers, right, um, where they discuss all kinds of stuff like the, when are they going to get their salaries, also includes messages, photos, and videos celebrating Hamas, celebrating the massacre of October 7th, and other acts of terrorism if you go back far enough. In other words, 249,000 user posts in this chat group, many of them a celebration of death and destruction. So UNRWA is, has been working with Hamas. It is an evil organization. It is one more evil to add on to the list of evil things the United Nations does. United Nations should be shut down. It should be shipped off to Caracas or to, uh, or to I don't know, you pick the spot in hell where we can ship, uh, where we can ship uh, uh, the UN to and make it its base. It certainly should not be. Uh, on uh, prime real estate in New York City. UNRWA, uh, the UN represents everything the opposite of America and New York. All right, I, I think that's a horrific story. The Biden administration has stopped funding UNRWA as of this weekend, as have many European countries. Uh, Norway stands out as somebody who is a one country that said they will not cease funding. Uh, who knows why, right? Uh, of course, the, the guilt card is played, right? If, if they cease funding, uh, what will happen to all these poor ref you know, refugees? What will happen to their children? Well, it's better they get no schooling than they get schooling in Hamas propaganda. Uh, in 2018, Trump, one of the positive acts that he did, uh, suspended funding for UNRWA, right? He did, he, he funded UNRWA for in 2017. In 2018, uh, they were, uh, the, the Trump administration was trying to arrange a deal with uh, Israel and the Palestinians. Uh, Trump administration was actively involved in trying to establish a Palestinian state, you know, under terms that they viewed as friendly to Israel. Uh, but, uh, but there was active negotiations that, uh, 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 what's his name, uh, Trump's son-in-law was engaged in. Um, he, was, he was shuttling back and forth, Jerusalem, he was meeting with um, the Palestinian leadership. And in order to put pressure on the Palestinians to uh, engage in the uh, negotiations and to compromise, uh, the Trump administration stopped funding, Javed Kushner, stopped funding uh, UNRWA, stopped funding uh, the support for refugees. Remember, this is also a time 
where uh, Trump had a great national security advisor. I, I think one of the better national security advisors we've had in the last 30, 40, 50 years. I don't know. And that's John Bolton, uh, which everybody in the Republican Party now hates. Uh, so uh, they were tough. They were tough. And, um, and, and pressure, and John Bolton knows exactly what the UN is. He served in the UN, like Nikki Haley. He, he never got a permanent appointment because Congress refused to appoint him uh, because he was too controversial, too good. Uh, John Bolton knows what UNRWA is because he is a foreign policy expert. Everybody pretty much knows what UNRWA is, but he has the courage of his convictions. And as a consequence, because of the influence of uh, Bolton, the Trump administration stopped funding UNRWA. One of the first things that Biden did in coming into office was restarting the funding. Uh, what they've done now, they've suspended the funding. But what's different now from 2018 is so have many countries in Europe. UNRWA basically is bankrupt. Uh, the head of the UN, a horrible human being and a real monster of a human being, uh, the head of the UN uh, has, has, uh, is begging, out begging that countries start funding UNRWA again, otherwise they'll have to shut it down and the poor kids are going to starve. Um, no money for UNRWA should be a, a, the push right now and hopefully that'll hold.